Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about Rapash. So I've done a few videos on this already on how why or a review basically on it and how I made it. But this is basically an updated one with basically just another way of showing you guys. I haven't really changed much of it. I'm going to be using these little ice cube trays. I got this from like the dollar store so. But they have little cool whales on it so that was kind of cool. Anyway, so we're going to be using Rapashi to feed my super red plecos. They're, as you can see, and then um, guaranteed analysis here it says um, crude protein minimum of 40%, crude fat minimum 8%, crude fiber max 8%, moisturizer max 8%, ash max 12%. So the protein in here is 40%, which is pretty high. I like it. Um, it's also good with the balanced diet that I do of plain zucchini, uh, uh, hikari bug bites, all that stuff, all those wafers, algae crisps, and stuff like that. So it's a good thing to keep the day a little um, with with variety. Anyway, so what I like to do is boil some water, which I'm doing right now. Still not at the moment yet, but any second. And then it says pour boiling water into a bowl and then one parts powder to two to three parts of water. So what I'm gonna be using is a um, measuring spoon. We're gonna be using a tablespoon. See if this fits in here. No, it doesn't. So, one smaller than this would be a tablespoon. I'm sorry, a teaspoon. That fits perfect. Okay, so it's saying um, one to two to three. I'm going to be doing one to three. That's one. The smell is a little strong, but it's not as bad as I heard on the reviews. That's two. So, I'm going to be using six. Um, little things of water that should be enough for about a week or more because it's not the only thing I'm feeding them I feed them this about once or maybe twice a week and that feed probably one of these for the, all my tanks I cut them up and I freeze them so it's easy when I take them out I just let it on freeze for five minutes and then I place them in the tank so now that the water is at a boiling point what we're gonna be doing is getting six of this six tablespoons teaspoon one Two, three, four, five, six. Now it says six, but it looks like it's it should take at least one or two more. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, one, two. Put that to the side, and now we're gonna mix, hoping that that's enough um, water. Cause I I like it. Um, I don't want it to be too thick, to be honest, either. As you see, I'm just stirring it up, literally. Um, maybe I can get a better view, like so. Oh, that smell is a little strong now that I realize that I have the brush I do recommend um, having some fresh air if you're doing this because this smell is potent and really not something I would like to enjoy a smell. Anyway, so what we're going to do is just dump them in here. Like, I would actually like to add another spoonful of water. This is a little thicker than I wanted it to be. It's a little harder to actually fit in the container, but anyway, I am going to add another cup of water. Okay, easier to mix. I do this a little quickly because actually this will start to get harder in there so it's not pouring in and falling in as nicely as I wanted it to be. Yikes. You could use a regular ice cube tray. This is just because 
I thought it was cool and it would look cool. So I got the whales, but thinking about it, it would have probably been a lot easier if I just did a regular ice cube tray to get out. Again, you don't want to feed them only rapashi. I wouldn't recommend to feed them, especially the one I have. The Soliant Green is the one I have. But you don't want to feed them only this because of the high in protein and they are mainly, um, their, their diet is usually mainly um, vegetables. So you don't, you want to keep a nice variety in there. But the good thing about rapashi is actually you can break it up, use it a few times. Um, you can actually, when it's like a liquidy, more of a liquidy paste, you can actually dump it, um, some aquarium decor in there. And in the actual solely green, when it's like that. And then you can place that right in your tank just like that. And then the placos can actually just rasp on it. Got a full trip. Close enough to be honest. Um, some of them are a little thicker than others, which is fine. This is. I'm actually gonna feed this to the tank, just like as it is. Once it gets a little cooler, but yeah, because as like I was saying, as you can see, see how it like got on top of the spoon. You can just like. If you have an aquarium decor, you could do the same thing with it, and then you place the decor in the actual tank. That's my dog back there, but... Yeah. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is put this in the freezer. Um, I recommend putting it in the freezer for mainly one reason. It lasts longer. I had it in the fridge, and if it's over a week, I've realized that it starts growing mold already, so and I can't feed with mold, so yeah, let's close this up before I drop it. But overall, I mean, it's a little pricey compared to like the other food, but it lasts a while. I've had this already for like mm, two months, and I'm like not even halfway through it, so I do have a few plecos. I'm not saying I have a whole fish room, but I do have one, two, three five tanks of Plecos and I've got a, about a hundred of them total so and I got a couple of babies coming up too so that's pretty good actually I'll take you with me to feed this to them and I'm gonna be doing, it's a little louder in here so bear with me please this one of my tanks So I'm just gonna grab a little chunk like that and just dump it into the tank and open the lid and it'll fall down. You can see it sinking down right down there and it fall right on top of it. Oh, no. 